we only have about 30 plus head of animals here. And um, it doesn't matter how much you plan out your day. Uh, something's always going to go awry when you walk out the door in the morning. Hey everyone, winter's here and every year we work tirelessly all spring, all summer to get prepped for winter and uh, every year winter comes and we're not ready and um, generally it's because of all the day-to-day -day anomalies or drama, whatever you want to call it. Any of you homesteaders out there I'm sure can relate if you have animals as we do. All right, we're here with the chickens who don't always cause drama, but um, recently we lost our oldest hen, who happened to be the lead hen. But yeah, it's a sad day, so it's a little bit of drama for us and a little bit of drama for the chickens. Um, yeah, it's never fun to lose a chicken at all. Uh, she's been with us for several years. Um, she's almost eight years. And uh, yeah, she was a good egg layer when we, for the first few years. And uh, we just kind of let her hang out. And she passed in her sleep, so... Um, she went peacefully. She ate the night before. Everything seemed fine, but um, yeah, they just come to a certain age when yeah, it's their time to go. It's their time to go. But yeah, so for the time being, the only drama with the chickens is uh, is them figuring out their pecking order. So you're out for anybody that owns chickens knows what happens when your lead hen goes away. Um, there's a lot of uh, quarreling and discussing uh, as to who's going to be the boss. Um, so that is happening right now. Uh, along with the fact that we have two roosters coming to age, so <laughs> they're all jockeying for their uh, position or pecking in the pecking order. Surprisingly enough, our lead hen so far, or in the lead so far, is our bantam, who is the smallest chicken in the bunch. Um, she is still pushing roosters. We will go ahead and clip in some video and you will see how the small hen manages at feeding time to um, push the other hens and roosters off of the feed trough so that she can uh, get to her pick of the food. Good puppy. All right, so here's another fun one a lot of you could probably relate to. You walk out the door to go do your chores in the morning and the dog's got something pinned under your chicken coop and uh, to your surprise, there's a skunk running about. Um, and that'll throw a wrench in your plans if you got stuff to do, especially uh, chores. Usually you got to throw the dog in the pen and uh, get your chores done and then get to scrubbing the dog before you can get on to your, uh, your jobs for the day. So that's always a good fun one. And she doesn't seem to mind the smell of it, but uh, the rest of us definitely do not like the smell of skunk. So yeah, there's always that to deal with. Um, luckily, we were able to get her to move out on her own. Uh, we kept the dog separate <laughs> until that happened. But yeah, that's always a fun one when you got other plans and you got to spend an hour scrubbing a dog or chasing a skunk off without getting yourself sprayed. So anyone that owns horses uh, knows you shouldn't own horses if you have a homestead. But anyway, um, I'll always joke about that. I love these guys. Um, it, it is funny. Uh, just about daily, these guys will always give you something else. This guy's our little gate breaker. So... Um, yeah, he's, these guys are great uh, to have around if uh, you forget to put a latch on the gate or a carabiner on the lock. Our boy Hickory was sad here the last few days and we thought he might be sick. And um, we took his temperature and checked everything and, and nothing. We couldn't find anything. Um, turns out that, uh, yeah, he was just depressed. We took him for some, uh, some walks and um, groomed him and, and you know, he was still depressed, so um, turns out we just ran out of oats, and uh, yeah, so for days he had us worried about him, and it turns out he was just upset because we hadn't been giving him any uh, rolled oats with his molasses, and um, yeah, as soon as we discovered that was the problem, he bounced back to his normal self. All right, our next fun little cases of drama are these little things. Um, these are Nigerian dwarf goats, and... Uh, for any of you out there that own goats, you already know what kind of nightmare these guys are. Um, I would say, no exaggeration, just about daily, I come out and have to deal with something from these guys. They've either broken out of that something or broken into something, 
or gotten into something, they are just the troublemakers of the homestead. Uh, hands down, the leader in troublemakers. Um, these guys, I, I've come out and we were missing the end of a tail on one of them. Uh, I've come out to them wrapped up in the fly tape, not even sure how they got to the fly tape. Uh, it, that's hanging from the ceiling, so that's still a mystery. Uh, we still haven't figured out who bit the, the goat's tail off. Um, could have been a horse. Uh, I don't think it was the dog. It was a good clean bite, but yeah, always something with these guys every single day. And if they're not causing problems, then you're chasing them around all day because they're into whatever you're doing. Uh, I can't get any projects done without the two of them uh, getting into my way and messing with my tools. All right. Last but not least is the new drama to the homestead are these two little guys. Uh, they've taken to being here just fine, but everybody else is quite uh, alarmed by their presence. Um, they've caused quite a stir with the chickens and the horses. The goats are terrified of them, which is quite hilarious. But uh, they were a necessary um, addition to our head count of animals here. Uh, it has been a little bit of a pain in the butt um, being cold and the barn's not quite finished yet. So I've had them in my workshop and we've had to keep the wood stove burning here overnight to keep them cozy until we get the barn finished insulation and uh, the heater set up in the barn. So um, yeah, that, uh, that's uh, been quite fun watching these guys terrorize the rest of the animals on the uh, homestead and uh, everybody getting used to each other. So far the dog and the cats are the only ones that are uh, okay with each other. The horses and goats and chickens are still quite unsure about these guys. So, And uh, additionally with these guys, we, we ordered uh, two little females from the farm down the road here that was giving them away. And uh, I'm starting to think that this is not a female. Um, we're starting to see some things in areas that would indicate that it's a male. So now more drama. I've got to take this guy in and get him fixed so that he's not trying to... Yeah, run around and make more kittens and uh, spraying all over my workshop and my barn. So we want to thank you all for letting us share our drama with you. And uh, we'd love to hear about other people's drama in the comments there. If you've got a homestead and you've got animals, then I'm sure you've got stories to share. And I'm sure you can relate. Um, I'm not one for making excuses, but uh, yeah, I did not get all my winter prep done because of all of these wonderful little furry creatures that uh, are part of our everyday life that uh, certainly throw wrenches into the gears when you're trying to get stuff done.